Hi everyone, so I thought I'd do an update on my little boy. <laughs> He's doing so well, he has a name now, we've called him Albert, which I think is perfect because you are gorgeous and it means noble, um, which I think is quite fitting. He's so good. He's still not keen on the other cats. He's hissing and growling at them. Um, but there's no malice there. It's just pure fear, I think. So that will come in time. He's been home a week now. And we're doing really, really well. He does have little moments where he'll lash out at me. But he's never, ever got his claws out when he does it. And he will bite. But again, he doesn't even break the skin even the slightest bit. So... I think it's a behavioural issue with him um, that maybe from his past life he, it's just a, a survival mechanism for him but there's absolutely no malice in it whatsoever. He's doing really well considering what he's been through. I mean any normal cat that had been brought over from Egypt um, that had been living in the horrendous conditions um, that they have in Egypt and then gets put on a big tin box um, that makes a lot of noise and flies in the sky and then all the noise in the airport, all the noise getting onto the plane um, when he gets home the same. It's a lot for any cat to deal with, let alone a cat with different needs. So I can understand that he would be struggling a little bit um, with those issues and there's behavioural issues that I think stem from his condition um, that we need to do a little bit of work on. <laughs> but he's an absolute sweetheart. He wouldn't let anybody in the rescue give him kisses. He gives me kisses all the time now. He loves a cuddle, absolutely loves a cuddle. And he's all his personality's coming out now. He's got a really quirky personality. He is very talkative. If he knows I'm around, he'll start howling, not meowing, literally howling. Um, and he will howl the place down until I come and give him some fuss. Um, he has a habit of standing on two legs, which I find quite funny. Um, I've never had a cat that does that before. He's just a really, really sweet boy. And we absolutely adore him, don't we? You're gorgeous, aren't you? So yeah, a few little behavioural issues um, that we feel need to be ironed out, but no rush. Um, he's in my bedroom at the moment because the bathroom just wasn't big enough. You can't keep a cat in a bathroom, especially my bathroom because it's the size of a cupboard. Um, so yeah, he's moved to my bedroom and he's loving it. He's got lots of things in here. He does rely on his travel crate quite a lot, I think, for comfort. Um, so I'll come in the big room sometimes and he'll be in his travel crate just chilling. I've put lots of cushions in there for him So it's quite comfortable um, and even though he's got a water bowl He prefers to drink the water out of the little bowl on his travel crate um, Litter tray wise he's got a general litter tray I've tried him with a covered one, but he seemed a little bit scared of the lid um, on the covered litter tray So we have a general one when he first arrived home, I must admit, when he went to the toilet for a number two, the smell was horrendous. Um, but as he's got over the week or so that he's been here, it's the smell has, has gone down quite a lot. Um, that smell was just, I don't know what they fed him in Egypt, but the, I've never smelled anything like it. It was awful. So that's stopped now. We have normal smelling poo-poos, don't we? Um, so yeah, we're doing really, really well. He goes to the vets on Monday, um, just for a checkup, a general checkup, and see how everything is. I do think there's some issues with his back legs. Um, he seems quite sore at times on his back legs, so I'll get them checked out. And I do think there's some nasal issues. Um, he does snore quite loudly, um, and when he gets excited or when he plays his breathing will be a tiny bit more laboured than it is normally. I don't think it would need surgery, but if it does, at least we can have a look at it when we go to the vets on Monday. He's just, he's just lovely. And I'm absolutely besotted with him. And when all your hair grows back, you're just going to be stunning, aren't you? 
I do talk to him. I know he can't hear me, but I think it gives him comfort. Ooh, they're beautiful, aren't they? So cute. The lady at the rescue did say that you need to clean his eyes every day, um, which I've not been doing. I've been letting him settle in. But I think, looking at his eyes now, I think they do need a little bit of a clean. Um, and he's on ear drops because he's got ear mites. So twice a day he's on ear drops, which he doesn't really like. But he lets me do it, which considering everything he's been through and the fact that mentally he's probably not as clued up as other cats. Um, the fact that he lets me do that is pretty amazing. He's quite a trustworthy cat. Um, so yeah, considering everything that the poor boy's been through and everything that he's had to deal with, uh, obviously not having the, the same mental capacity as, as another cat would, I think he's doing incredibly well and he's dealing with it incredibly well and he's taking it all in his stride. Oh, that's it now. Done now. Gone now. I think there's another cat on the other side of the door and he does like to have a smell um, but he does he does hiss I mean he does get quite stressed out um, if I try to introduce him to another cat so I'm going to leave him another week or so before I even attempt any form of slow introduction with him just because there's no rush um, and he is different he has got different needs than another cat would have um, so I'm going to take my time with it and um, slowly slowly catchy monkey as, as they say so yeah we're doing really well um yeah great cat absolutely adore him and we shall update you soon on little albert i was going to say say goodbye albert but he's obviously interested in something else <laughs> i shall see you all soon bye